Hello, hello, welcome to a maker studio. I am Cheryl and I create over on the Home of My Making Facebook page. I am here today as a contributor and I wanna show you a fun, I think it would make a fun like summer addition to your barbecues. So that's interesting. So as you hop on, let me know that you're here. Also, we will be giving away this stencil. So don't forget to tag three friends and share this tutorial and you will be in the giveaway for this stencil. So let me show you what the stencil is. It is called Sea Life and it's got a lot of uh, intricate patterns here. There's a ton of um, graphics on here. They are shells, a seahorse, a starfish, and even an octopus. So this screams summer to me. Lake, summer, beach. So I want to show you a fun little project to do with this stencil. So I'm going to take it out of its sleeve. If you are new to a Maker Studio stencils, they are a tri-mesh adhesive stencil. They come in this little sleeve. You pull it out. There's a backing in there to keep it stable. And they are a tribe mesh they're reusable so when you peel this off of here it is tacky let me see if i can get that off of there and it's got a backing so that's what makes it adhesive so i'm going to cut out a couple of these graphics to use on my project so let me see i think i'm going to do these shells so again as you hop on let me know where you're watching from and don't forget to tag three friends and share this tutorial and the maker studio will be giving away this stencil so you do that all in the um comments below also all your um stencil links are up in the description of this tutorial along with the gel art ink so let me just cut this big old octopus out too so what i'm gonna do is i had found these really pretty they're actually um napkins at hobby lobby but let me show you what i'm going to do with these so i'm going to lay it flat i do have something under here you do want to when you're using gel art ink you do want to put something underneath it especially on fabric or always on fabric because it does um bleed through because it's a fiber so let me get my little shell stencils out so i picked out four separate shells on this particular stencil and what i'm going to do is on each one of these corners i'm going to put a shell i think i'll do it this way so again they're adhesive and the gel art ink which i'm going to be using in the color well i declare is the white gel art ink now gel art ink can be used on paper it can be used on wood it can be used on a lot of different surfaces but it can also be used on fabric and it can be permanent and I'll show you how to do that. So I'm just going to remove them from the backing. Save these little pieces of paper that your stencils are on because when you clean them, you will put them back onto those little backings and then you could slide them into the sleeve and that's how you store them and reuse them. So I'm just going to go ahead and again, I'm going to put them all on first, just figuring out what direction I want them to go in. Just move that out of the way. And I got one more. So I put them on all four corners. And I'm going to save my little backings. Also, I have a tub of water next to me. And why I have a tub of water um, when I get done doing these stencils and using the product in them, what you normally would do would get up and wash them right away. But I always have a tub of water. And the reason why I do that is because I don't get up from my live and go wash them. But let me show you how you would maintain your stencils. So I have a spreader here. I do like using these hard spreaders when I'm doing a fabric, but I also like to cut them smaller so that I could have more control. Now, if you feel like you're going to get off of 
your stencil pattern. You can always take some type of tape and tape that off so that you would have a border around your stencil if you felt like you were gonna get it off. And what I mean by that is you would just go around the whole entire stencil like so. And this is a type of removable tape that you can put on fabric. This is just going to give me a border so that I don't go off of the stencil with the gel art ink. And the reason for that is it is permanent. So you don't want to get it on any other part of the um, fabric. Also, again, if you're just hopping on, I am Cheryl from the Home of My Making Facebook page. I am taking the Sea Life stencil on a napkin that I've gotten from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to take some of the gel art ink. I'm going to put a little bit on my spreader that I had cut smaller so I can have more control. And I'm going to press it through the stencil and then it's going to put the graphic onto the napkin. Okay, so let me show you what I did. Now, all this tape it was just so that I didn't get it on the surrounding areas so you see how it transferred to that let me just take this off so this little stencil is going to go in a water bath and that's just going to prevent the product from drying in there while I do the rest of this tutorial I'm going to go to my next little shell that I have on here and do that one. Now I am going to be mindful not to get it on the fabric surrounding. I'm not going to take this one off, but you can so that you don't get it on the surrounding fabric. That's why I like to have a little bit more control with a smaller piece of the spreader. Again, I'm being mindful not to get it on the part of the fabric that doesn't have the stencil. And I could see it going through because the material is now turning white where the stencil is instead of it being this nice aqua color. I'm going to add just a little bit more and be able to get that little tip. Okay, I'm going to remove... The stencil, again, I have a water bath that I'm just going to lay these in and that just keeps it from drying out while I do this project. Otherwise, you would get up and go rinse them off as you use them, rinsing them under a sink, using your hand to get the product off of the stencil so it doesn't clog the mesh. Then you would just lay them sticky side up on a clean cloth, let them dry. You would put them back onto their little backing that they came in, and then you could slide it into the sleeve that was the original packaging. This way you could reuse them over and over again. So the reason why I suggest that you also clean them right away is you don't want whatever product you're using with these stencils to clog the mesh, which is where all the design is. So if it was left to dry in there, you wouldn't be able to use it again. So it's very important that you just get up and clean them right away. Don't let them sit. So that's the other one. I got one more to do. And again, adding just a little bit of the gel art ink and the well I declare. If you guys had just hopped on, don't forget to tag three friends in the comments below and share this tutorial and you'll be in the giveaway for this stencil which is so fun and it screams summer and you could use it on a lot of other projects with a lot of other products that we have at a maker studio and again all the products that i use today are available up in the description section of this tutorial so here's what i have i just put a little bit of the design on each corner now I do have another napkin that I want to use. I'm going to flip that over just because it had some ink on there. 
it's just a little clear mat that I have under here so it doesn't transfer through. Now what I want to do is that other little graphic that I, a part of the stencil that I cut out, is a octopus. Look how fun that is. Look at all the detail in there. That's one of the fun things about a mesh stencil is it has so much detail. If you look really close, you could see like almost like little spots on him and all that detail will come out in the stencil. So what I'm going to do, again, I'm going to make sure I do have a clear little mat under here to protect my table because it will go through the fabric. And I'm going to stick this right in the center of this particular napkin. Again, I'm going to use the white gel or ink. You could use any of our colors with this, but I think the white, again, is um, kind of summery against these really pretty color napkins that I have here. Again, just take your gel or ink. I am, again, being mindful that I don't get it off of the side of the stencil but you could use that tape and go ahead and uh, tape it off if you thought you were going to get it on the surrounding fabric just push it through i like to add more as i go if i need it as far as the gel or ink instead of flooding the area with a lot of product i just like to add more as I go along. You do want to make sure that your stencil is flush with whatever surface you are applying it to. In this case, it's the fabric. I am turning it to use it at a better angle. I'm going to add just a little bit more and it, it should have transferred the whole design. So these are fun, this graphic on this Sea Life stencil. Again, I'm going to peel this one up and it's going to show you the design. I'm going to put it in the water bath. These are washable also, these little um, spreaders. I'm going to put that in the water bath. Now let me show you. So let's look at this octopus right now the reason why i did this one in the center this is something fun i like to do with some napkins so you guys know how we always have barbecues or even dinners and we always have a bread bowl maybe it's to hold your hot dogs and hamburger buns at a summer picnic so here's what i'm going to do i am going to use this as a bread bowl cover and then i could also use this one as the same thing or you could literally use these as napkins. Now, let me show you something. These are not dry right now. So what you would do is you need to let the gel art ink set in your fabric. And I normally let it set. I like to just let it set overnight. This way, I don't even have to worry about hours. But it'll probably dry in four to six hours. But what you do to heat set these so they're permanent so you can wash them is... I'm going to just get a little pad, and this pad's just for ironing. So what you would do when this is completely dry, like I said, I like to wait 24 hours and then do this. So you would put it on an ironing board, and you would take another cloth, just another clean cloth, and you would put this over that. Now that's wet right now. I'm not going to put it flush up against that. And you would take an iron, and you would go over the pattern for a couple of minutes with an iron and that's called heat setting that will heat set the ink into the fabric so that you can wash it but again you want your gel art ink to dry first and like i said i like to do 24 hours and then you would put it on an ironing board in my case it's just a mat that i have on my table to protect the table and then you would put another clean cloth over this when it's dry and then take your iron and go over it for a couple of minutes. That heat sets the gel or ink into any fabric that we have. Now, you could use the gel or ink on clothes. You could also, like I said, use the gel or ink on wood and paper. But for when it's on a fabric and you're going to wash it, you want to heat set it. But doesn't that make a really cute 
liner for a bread bowl. So can you imagine being at a picnic with a sea life theme and having your hot dog or hamburger buns in here? Again, you could use this as just a regular cloth napkin folded up just like a napkin and you could use it just as a napkin. Or again, you could use it as a bread bowl liner. So I hope this inspired you. Don't forget to tag three friends and share this tutorial down in the comment section and you will be in the giveaway for the Sea Life stencil. Also, all the products that I used are up in the tutorial section or the, excuse me, the description section of this tutorial. So when you get off the, the live, if you go back to the post, it's all available up there with links to everything that I used. So I hope this inspired you and can't wait for summer to get here. So thank you guys, have a great day.